Well, all right, friends, subscribers, and other strangers. What's up? Bearded Picker here, back with a wonderful eBay shipping video. And we're going to talk about different methods of selling on eBay as I ship these items. They're pretty quick to ship. Um, I should have got boxes. I did not set that up, so I'm going to set it up, and we'll get this thing started. For those of you who are new to the game, I put everything on this side. I posted a picture on Instagram. If you're not following me, at Bearded Picker on Instagram. I get a lot of questions about this guy. This is a dual tape machine. It's an old Amazon machine. That's why the numbers don't say how long the tape is. It has Amazon boxes on it. I don't know if you can see that. So what I did was measured each one and put them here so i just if i need a 20 inch piece of tape i hit that one um one side has got ebay tape one side has got plain tape i bought this on ebay it was 375 i think the guy's not asking 475 would i recommend it if you don't mind not having the tapes and want to use ebay and amazon and plain it's very good what i would tell you to do is get a single one and just swap the tape it's very easy so you can get very accurate the problem is is it goes from seven and a half to 16 and a lot of times i need 12 or 13 so i end up using a little too much tape all right the zebra thanks to eric the college picker i've been messing with this thing i've got it working for my labels on with my macbook two inch tape dispenser um, I just bought it on Amazon. It's an inline. I'll see if I can find a link for that. MacBook Pro. This is a 2013 MacBook Pro. Headphones so I can talk to people who call me. <laughs> I've had this printer a long time. Um, I recommend these cheap uh, HP laser jets. This one's an 1102. I think I've had it for five, six years. Just put a new ink cartridge in it. It was generic. Yeah. Whoever they're compatible with. So. And then the scales over there. I think I upset the printer. All right, so what did we sell today? But this is, and then all the boxes on both sides, there's more paper tape. I need to organize this side a little better, but the other side is pretty primo. So let's see, what did the bearded picker sell? And how much did it get for? And how easy is it to ship? I'm gonna set you guys a little off the tape machine because, okay, I'm gonna set you back here because I need the tape to come out here, so. All right, first up, Hello Kitty. I probably paid a dollar for this at most at a yard sale. Um, so there's different sorts of medicines I'm going to talk to you about. Yard sale? Not bad. Um, I sold it for, ooh, six seventy two. dollars So I made like five bucks plus, plus five dollars shipping. I got $12.46 total. So we'll do this one a little different. Normally I just ship it, print the labels out afterwards, but I'll show you how the whole shipping station works. So it weighs four ounces, so I'm just gonna hit print label. Change it on eBay system to four ounces. I'm trying to keep you over there so I don't have to blur addresses. But almost everybody has seen that you put your change away, update. It's $2.78 to ship it, so I've got $3.78 out of 12. So after fees, I'll probably make eight bucks on this, so on a six dollar sale for a dollar. I, I probably was going to lot it up, but Jacob Jacob found it and listed it. Just hit open label and tell it to print. And like magic. So now, I, I know you guys were, whenever I was doing other videos, y'all worried about all the walking back and forth. Um, sometimes I listen. Sometimes I have evil plans that are not yet known. <laughs> uh, this is a plan for good, though. So basically... So why the zebra over here? The other, the Dymo I had, the 4XL, is, was my travel printer because I have another Dymo over there on that one, which is, I shared it. So I could print the Dymo over there if I wanted to. Um, but you can get these labels free if you have a small business account with UPS. Um, I'm currently using some I bought because I might've ordered too many labels in too fast a period. <laughs> but uh, so we got one done. All right, eBay box. This is an 8 inch box. Here's what I mean. 8 inch. 
seven inch tape doesn't work. 16 and a half is too long. We're gonna hit the 16 and a half anyway. Oops, you meant to hit the eBay when I hit the other one. That's why I almost knocked you guys down. This one, I wanna tell you, do not pass up Pokemon. So the next, this is retail arbitrage. I couldn't find, I hardly find a listing because there's this guy is a Lycan Rock. I'm saying that wrong. Somebody tell me down below. Or um, He has a midnight form. This one is the midday form. I think the midnight, he's like some red in him. So what would you think? I paid $3 for this at a clearance, Walmart, GameStop, somewhere. I don't know. What's your guess? Down in the comments. <laughs> if I'm asking you to guess how much it is, it's probably expensive. All right. Mr. Lycan Rock sold for ship your next item. Uh, $30 plus $2.50 shipping. <laughs> I don't ask you um, when I don't know. I knew this guy was expensive. I, I've got one more to see. That's the good. Okay, so remember I told you the proven system. You know, find something that sells. When I, pick, when I see these, I pick them up because I know they're worth $30. I've got two more, one or two more, and this is the second or third one I've sold. So the value in these things is... is there's it must have been GameStop. There's five or six up here in town. So once I found one that was really good and I'm like, is it worth my time to run to the other stores? You know, they're all within a ten mile radius. You know, I spent a couple hours, picked up five or six of them. They're worth thirty dollars a piece. So you're making I'm probably making twenty dollars. So a couple hours time, is it worth your to pick up a hundred, hundred and hundred and twenty, hundred and forty dollars and depending on how many I got. Is that worth your time? Most people will say yes, I say yes. Uh I've been watching too much Ancient Aliens. Ancient Alien theories say yes. <laughs> if y'all don't watch that crazy show. <laughs> uh, old George Sokolov. Uh, his hair goes everywhere. Um, I used to watch it because I found it kind of interesting what they the what they believe. The I put both them phones in Do Not Disturb. They lie. Um, so I, and then I noticed how much it irritated Joni. <laughs> so, since it bothered Johnny so much, we watch a lot of Ancient Aliens. She's like, what do you want to watch on TV? I'm like, surely Ancient Aliens is on, right? Oh, so this guy, he's probably going to weigh 10 ounces. Okay, he weighs 8, even better. So we're going to update it. Uh, just remember, you don't have to put in, if it's this first class you did not have to um this first class you don't have to put in the dimensions this one uh for those of you playing at home it's one of the boxes i got with my coupon the store coupon eight by six by four we're going to open the label tell it the print all right and there's a little delay in printing because it goes through the air and comes back because this, this thing is, I believe I got it wireless. I'm not 100% sure. If I'm lying, sorry about that. I try to make it wireless. So there we got an eBay one. That's nice. All right, so yard sale. Starbucks mugs are really good. This is a used mug. It has no flaws on it whatsoever. Johnny tried to keep it, but because I paid a quarter for it, chances are it's worth a good bit of money. Any guesses? I took an offer. $32 plus shipping. I got a grand total of $46.49 for this guy. A Starbucks mug from Kuwait. That, the Starbucks mug should have got you looking at a yard sale. Uh, there were like six mugs. I bought all six of them for $1.50. There's an Alabama, a Niagara Falls. There was, there's a bunch of them. This is the second one to sell. But when you've only got a quarter, you can, you, I mean, how many of us got a quarter laying around? In the car, change, wherever? doesn't hurt you to hold this inventory it's i knew it would take a minute and we were going to use this box right here but through the magic of modern science i have one already together <laughs> oh did y'all hear the door crack all right bubble wrap right behind you Beep.
tight. Let's see how much you weigh before I switch boxes because this box seems a little small. I don't I hate the way it does. Yeah, we're over we're over a pound. Just for that. Long size. Uh, this is a six by six by four. How about six by six by six? Alright. And man, I don't like when somebody has paid good money for something like that that I have only a quarter in and I can't get another one because I've never seen one before I would, I would rather not take a chance so let's get one more piece of bubble wrap going there oh. see what I mean by the tape how it overlaps pretty good bit, but you know what? I like that tape machine. I like having both tapes. So we're gonna print this guy here. This is a good example. Can I save money with pirate ship on this one? Where how far is it going? It's just going to Texas. Uh let's see how much we're gonna charge. It's 876. I will check pirate ship for you. Pirate ship. Arg. <laughs> All right. Since it's already connected my main eBay account, it'll pull up all the eBay listings. I'll play some fancy music right here. <laughs> all right. Starbucks mug. Get rates. So basically, I just need six by six by six. One. All right. So the eBay printing says eight dollars and seventy-six cent. Pirate ship says. 871 eBay wins by a nickel wait a minute 876 871 pirate ship wins damn it cubic cubic shipping cubic shipping would have been much better if it had gone a little farther but okay so we're gonna buy the label from pirate ship come on hit print label I'm using Chrome so it doesn't it's not compatible so tell it to download I've got Adobe DC re Reader opens it up, and just like that, all right, just like that. It was it was, it was no slower to uh, pick pirate ship. All right, so so far we've got two yard sales, both of them made good money, and then for the cumulative effect of the retail arbitrage, so they both work both models work there's nothing wrong with either one of them let's go back to retail arbitrage this is some hair dye I can't find it anymore um so we need this box the same eight by six by four and here's some ebay tape on this sucker this one's like an easy one we'll throw some bubble wrap around hey i ordered a new air pillow machine i can't wait for it to come um, didn't realize at the time when I ordered it live on the show yesterday that it was coming from uh, a YouTuber that I know, uh, Eric Dominic, uh, the Laughing Picker. Check out the Laughing Picker. I don't think Eric makes a ton of videos, but I uh, was standing guy at Ohio. Uh, I told him I didn't want any ceiling tiles, I didn't want any bed sheets, none of that crap. And uh, <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, I guess I gotta pack it real good, or you'll you'll put me in a video." I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> 13 ounces on this guy so oh they changed print shipping label now it says a note they collect the tax hadn't seen it yet so 13 ounces we're going to update that first class is always going to be the same so you don't check pirate ship Five dollars and twenty-seven cent. First class is getting expensive. The Imperial Federal Government is taking every bit of your money. Don't vote for a socialist unless you like the taste of your dog. That's just a uh, that's a public service message from uh, the beer ticker. <laughs> I don't care which way you lean. Understand uh, and, and study history. Um, I talked about it yesterday on the show. 
Um, if you're not watching Beard Alive, we had a good time yesterday. I don't understand why not. All right, so this goes back over here. Got one more. Everybody likes when I sell ass pads. <laughs> um, I'll get back to, to what I was saying in a second. Ass pads. Dun, dun, dun. Three boxes. I got forty dollars and ninety five. Forty dollars and ninety five cent. Forty five ninety shipped. So they going in this eight by. Um, the guy's name is uh, Bald and Bankrupt. He does a lot. is a travel channel, and he did a wonderful video yesterday on uh, on Cuba. And if you want to understand, Cuba's a beautiful country, great people. But if you want to understand what socialism, communism does, and abject poverty it subjects you to, I suggest you watch the video. I'll, I'll put the links below. I, I like that guy. I have never met him before in my life. 15 ounces so if you don't like it a you got the opportunity to find, watch something different but you will be amazed how, how beautiful a country how little they have and it's and somebody made the comment oh it's because the united states has had an embargo against them they tried to kill us <laughs> um they went from a dictatorship to communism yes i know the you if you study history the u.s actually put Castro on power and then he turned so yeah however you believe it I just want you to be informed there's not a right or wrong opinion it's just your opinion all right so that's it bearded picker has to take the dog to the vet now uh one of our dogs is not feeling great we have three dachshunds so Joni is the queen herself is getting me to drive her to so she can hold a dog while I drive to the vet, which is three miles. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned and continue. When I start selling stuff, if I would have just done yard sales, half the stuff that I just shipped would not would not be. I wouldn't made money on. I wouldn't have sold it. So, you know, you really got to. My 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 whole point in all this is is really vary your sourcing patterns. You know, the more variety. Can you make money doing niche things? Absolutely. If you're a professional and you know something, use your knowledge and advantage in that category to show expertise, sell for more money. Those things, that is an awesome way. But most of us are not a niche in a certain area. And so the best thing you can do is have a wide variety of stuff so it sells all the time.